So how can you control anger? Here are some tips. One, realize that no one can make you angry. It's a reaction that you allow. So you can control it, just like you can control any other reaction. Number two, anger is caused by your interpretation of the event. That's why two people can have the same experience, but only one gets angry. Number three, do you ever get angry? No, of course you don't. You're a Christian. You have complete self-control, so you never get angry. We all know that anger is a sin, but I know you get angry and don't try to hide it. In fact, it was the first emotion you ever had. When you were born, how did you react? Did you say, oh, this is a nice change. Who are all these nice people I'd like to meet? No, you were mad and they had no right to take you out of your warm, cozy place. You shrieked, it's not fair. And in your first year, you used anger and screaming to manipulate people to do whatever you wanted. So you know all about anger. It's always close by, ready to explode. Anger is our most dangerous emotion because it's the one that Satan can so easily trigger and magnify to make it destructive. And that's why the Bible gives us such a clear warning in Ephesians 4 and 26. In your anger, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down while you're still angry and don't give the devil a foothold. Anger can be destructive to your marriage. It can tear your relationship apart. The most common trigger of anger in marriage is unmet expectations. When your spouse doesn't meet your expectations and disappoints you, it makes you so frustrated. You hope that by getting angry, it will make your spouse change their behavior. Well, this rarely works. It just makes your spouse angry too. So now you have a standoff. So then your anger just simmers below the surface waiting for another disappointment that will trigger an expo explosion. Well, this just builds walls between the two of you. We also get angry with ourselves when we don't meet our own expectations. We beat ourselves up and feel like a failure. So how can you control anger? Here are some tips. One, realize that no one can make you angry. It's a reaction that you allow. So you can control it, just like you can control any other reaction. Number two, anger is caused by your interpretation of the event. That's why two people can have the same experience, but only one gets angry. The other person doesn't interpret the situation the same way. If you change your interpretation, you won't get angry. Number three, your interpretation is based on your past life experiences. When you have many painful events in your past, it leaves you with wounds and scars that are easily triggered. And if a current event reminds you of a painful event in your past, it can trigger the same reaction you had then. So you may overreact to the present situation because you're actually reacting to the painful memory. The more pain you have in your past, the more easily your anger will be triggered. So the next time you overreact with anger, after you've calmed down, ask Jesus, where did that come from? Why do I feel so angry? What happened in the past that caused me to react this way? And number four, the most powerful tool to stop anger is forgiveness. When you forgive, your anger melts away. As Jesus heals the wounds of the past through your forgiveness, you just won't be triggered so easily. A Christian counselor can really speed up this healing process. So if you're having a problem with anger, go and talk to them. And here's a great way to get closer to your spouse and prevent anger. Every day, pray out loud with your spouse, holding hands. It's hard to stay angry when you're coming together before God together daily. The closer you get to God, the closer you will get to each other. Don't let anger damage your marriage any longer. You need God's help to beat this, and He's waiting right now to help you. Give Him permission to heal your wounds and teach you how to forgive.